Hey, this is Frank Iero, and you're watching the Crank Podcast at Hit the Deck. Cool, right then. So, Frank. Yes. We're here at Hit the Deck. You we got your guitar. <laughs> and we're going to write a song. We're going to write a song? <laughs> In oh, five shit. easy steps. Five easy <laughs> steps. All right. Well, um, let's see. First, I suppose, um, when, when, uh, when writing a song, uh, you know, I think the, the first most important thing is don't ever just sit down and be like, I'm going to write a song, because then you never will. Uh, you need to, I think you need to have some sort of inspiration, you know. Um, it could be anything. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, take a walk outside and, and, and you catch a whiff of uh, a perfume on the air and it reminds you of, uh, uh, I don't know, of you know, your, your grandmother's uh, fabric softener or, or um Maybe it, you know, it takes you back uh, to being a young kid and and, uh, and and you know having your first love. I don't know, um, but uh, but many things can inspire. It could be uh, a piece of graffiti on a wall. It could be uh, you know uh, a beautiful sunny day. It could be uh, the worst car accident in the world. But I think that that's the first thing. The first step is to uh, to find your inspiration. Uh, second would be uh, to tune up. Uh, whatever you do, you know, uh, I feel like, especially uh, a live uh, performance, I've seen so many uh, young young bands, you know, have uh, just very, very expensive guitars and expensive amps, and maybe their their dad or their mom has, you know, bought them the, the coolest high tops <laughs> that you can buy, but no one buys a fucking tuner, and I think that's very important to have, is to make sure that you're in tune, uh, especially when um, and then I guess the third, the third thing would be, um, to, to know your range, uh, I suppose, you know, um, you know, I am not the, the greatest thing in the world by far, um, you know, uh, and, you know, not, not, not many of us are, are blessed with that, that angelic voice that everybody wants to hear, but, um, but if it's unique and it comes from the heart, that's a great thing. And uh, and if you if you're singing within your range, that that definitely helps. So uh, you know maybe you're tuned to standard, maybe you're not. Maybe you're dropped down uh, about a half step. Sometimes that sits pretty well. Um, I know uh, myself for some reason um, I'm drawn I'm drawn to D, uh, but actually I guess it's also on a half step down. So uh, maybe C sharp or D flat. Um, that kind of feels a little bit better uh, in my throat. It's probably like smoking, you know. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure in a couple of years I'll be I'll be down here a little bit more, um, maybe singing and see a little bit. Uh, I was in a band called Love Enough, and uh, all our stuff was uh, was drop C. I think it might have been even lower. We were on you know C but uh, but B. But uh, yeah, so so know your range, uh, know where you want to be. Um, and then uh, w once you have that going, um, you know, what's that? That's number four, right? Let's find a range. Number five would be, um, uh, you know, if uh, if at first you you're, you're not succeeding, uh, try try again. Also, uh, cut the fat. That's a big thing too. I feel like uh, as a songwriter, I know I know I've, I've gone through this a bunch. Is that. Um, you know, just because you wrote it doesn't mean it needs to be in the song. You know, um, what's best for the song is what's best for the song, and sometimes you need to take that step back and, and be like, all right, well, maybe the song just needs to be 30 seconds. You know, maybe it just, maybe it needs to be 30 seconds. Maybe it needs to be, maybe it needs to be an hour and a half. I don't know, but maybe, maybe it doesn't. So that, uh, so that you understand it, and and maybe someone else can as well. But uh, but mostly uh, so that you feel it in 
inside. And, uh, and that's, I guess, the best way to write a song.